smudging, a spiritual tribal cleansing. I thought this would literally be like with mud. No. Oh, thank goodness. For Madigan McGuinn, the idea is a little unnerving, but so are most events out in public. I'm usually a loner all the time. She suffers from social anxiety as part of her ADHD, but she is here to conquer that. Every time my mom says you're getting a job, I'm like, no. She's one of 30 students considered differently abled, spending the week at the state's Youth Leadership Forum. These delegates who attend for free suffer from birth defects and diseases or head trauma or mental health problems. They're taught about adaptive technology for those with special needs, along with leadership skills and how to get an education or a job past high school. Like 1920, yeah, was the first time I came here. This is the fourth year Allison Sullivan's been a counselor and loves seeing teens realize they don't have to be defined by what some consider disabilities. Being able to advocate for yourself and not being stuck in a situation where it's like, you know, I have this disability, I can't go out and do anything, I won't be able to get a job or go to school. I only like staying at my house and all, being with my mom and my little kitty, but I know I have to take action, not be that shy little girl anymore and try to get out there. Hi. What's your name? Madigan. Madigan, beautiful. Thank you. Smudgings are supposed to drive away negative energy and restore balance. Wow, that was really calming. Just the kind of things Madigan and the others get out of this forum. All the time, I've always felt weak all my life. Really? But now that I've been here, I honestly don't. I don't know how. Why? Yeah, I don't know either. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.